In 2006, we were awarded a grant, a $2.4 million grant from NIH, from the National Institutes of Health, specifically from the National Cancer Institute, to look at these practices, and especially we focus deeper in the Tsalung from the Mother Tantra. And um, so we are ongoing in that study, uh, looking at the same kind of benefits, especially sleep, anxiety, and quality of life. And we started a second study. Um, now it's a, pil a pilot study using a different intervention. This is for the population is women with breast cancer undergoing chemotherapy, but that express cognitive deficiencies, meaning lack of memory uh, and reduce other cognitive tasks. And so the patients who are learning these techniques and practicing them while they were getting their chemotherapy, they had fewer symptoms related to their chemotherapy. So then <clears throat> the big study that we have now that's ongoing is actually trying to focus primarily on the patients who are undergoing treatment. Um, and in that research we're collecting the same types of information in terms of them telling us how they're feeling on different forms. Uh, but we're also collecting blood to look at immune function and collecting saliva to look at their uh, stress hormones uh, to see if some of these objective measures also change. When you try it, then it's no longer a, a concept or a theory. You have the experience of, ah, oh, that's what it means. That's what openness means. That's what it means to release from this emotion. I never had that before. I did this exercise and it's gone. I felt it. So, so it's sort of like you know, tasting sugar for the first time. You can have all the concepts and scientific definitions of, of how sugar tastes. But once you taste it, you don't need any of that because you had the direct experience of it.